So this video is just going to be a short tutorial on how to create this full width header and footer along with creating the center container in the middle. So the first thing you're going to do is head over to your 502.css file. And within the body tag, you're going to want to create a new item for margin. And you're going to want that to equal to zero. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring up the page, make it flush to the top and to the left. Notice how if we change that to five, for example, that'll bring in everything by five pixels. So we'll go ahead and set that to zero and have everything flush to the top and to the left. Now what you're going to want to do is using your section that you created for the, your middle piece of main content, it's using the CSS designer, let's bring that to section. What I did was I made that a max width of 960 pixels. I picked 960 because that's a common uh, web layout that most websites use, but that's up to you as far as how big you want it. And the purpose of using this max width is that depending on the size of your monitor, that would actually reach the full page from left to right. So this way it keeps into this nice little container in the middle of the page. Now to get that in the middle of the page, you're going to want to set your margin to auto on the left and to the right. And what that's going to do is automatically paste that container in the middle of the page. If you wanted to set that to a different amount of pixels, let's say if you wanted it to the left side but within you know 10 pixels to the right, you could actually set that in here as well. But I like mine in auto, that way it's in the center of the page. What I also did was set padding of 50 pixels to the left and to the right, just so where it says project list, it wasn't right up against the white container at the very beginning. And by doing this, you can see the difference between the background color, the white container, and it's also set up so that it's responsive. So depending on the device that you're using, it'll automatically flow into the page and come out correctly without the user having to scroll off the page. What I did here at this top left hand corner is I added padding into my header file or into the header section of let's see 50 pixels and what that did is brought it in so that it wasn't right up against the side of the page similarly you can do the same thing for your footer but in my case i just made everything in the center so hopefully this helps 